Hey guys, so I've made a video showing you my tattoos and piercings before, but um, in this video I'm going to go into depth a little more about the piercings I have, the healing procedures and whatnot. All of my um, earlobe piercings were done with the gun at, two of them were done at Claire's and one of them was done on the boardwalk at one of the places it's called free as a bird and it's still on the boardwalk um so my industrial as you know is technically two piercings um they pierce it from the inside out they um do one and then the other and then they put the jewelry in um it didn't hurt to get it done but it did hurt for like the next couple of days it was really sore like I could not lay on that side of my head whatsoever for I'd say about four to five days um also with cartilage piercings um there's a chance of getting like keloids or bumps from where the needle exits the piercing just from the skin and stuff coming out and this one doesn't have it too bad, but yeah, just realize that whenever you get a cartilage piercing, you run the risk of a keloid or scar tissue basically coming out. I mean, it's very common for most people. Um, the tragus I've had for a while, it was my first cartilage piercing. Um, they pierce it from the back of it out to the front and put the jewelry in. I When I got mine done, I had a horseshoe put in it. Um, this does have a bump on it, but it's not that noticeable. And, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, well, if I got a bump, I would take mine out and blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? Even if you take it out, that bump's not going to go away. So basically, you're sacrificing your piercing and your bump's still not going to go away. So that's why I don't really care. <laughs> um, and then next would be my rook. Um, that didn't hurt bad at all. You get a choice between a curved barbell and a hoop, which is like a captive ring, which is what I got. Um, it didn't hurt, but it did bleed a good bit. Um, the industrial also bled a good bit, but my training is not so much. Um, so yeah. Not really gonna go into the no stud, because so many people have them. Like, it's <laughs> one of the easiest piercings to get. It doesn't hurt. Um, it's easy to heal. And whatnot. Next would be my septum. I had a subscriber ask me what's the point of having it pierced if you never see it. And you do see it as long as I wear it flipped out. But jobs out here in California, they're okay with facial piercings, but like they don't want you overboard. So when I work, I flip it inside so you can't see it. And that's one of the main reasons I love this piercing is because it's a piercing I've always wanted and yet if I don't want you to see it you can't because I just flip it in. <laughs> um, next would be my Monroe. This was my first facial piercing I ever got. I absolutely love it. I think it's really feminine piercing and looks good on most girls. Um, they pierce it from the inside of the lip out and the back of the jewelry looks like that and it I don't know healing it was really easy um the outside I just cleaned with saline solution and then I would swish uh, li anti antiseptic Listerine in my mouth to clean like the inside <laughs> this piercing is almost different because it's an oral piercing, but at the same time, it's a surface piercing, so you have to clean the different sides different ways. Um, my tongue, um, that was one of my very first piercings. I got my belly button done, and then my tongue was next. Um, 
for it doesn't hurt bad at all like it's like a quick pinch and that's it um for the first few days it does swell up and it makes it hard to eat but after like three to four days you're at least eating soft foods again um the cleaning of that was really easy also um i just used antiseptic listerine and then after after two weeks you're allowed to change it i know they probably tell you longer but oral oral things like sores whatever heals so fast that i after two weeks i was able to change it a word to the wise <laughs> when you're changing your tongue ring for the first time don't feed it through the top and try to screw the bottom ball in feed it from the bottom up and screw the top ball in because <laughs> my brilliant self tried to feed it from the top down and did that to try and screw the ball on the bottom and I swallowed a tongue ring with one ball in the, in the pole so <laughs> please take my advice um next I'm not really gonna go into my belly button because I feel like well one I made a video on that already and two like almost everybody has it it's real easy it takes four to six months to heal um some piercers say eight but I don't know I've never known anyone to take eight months for it to heal um I have my girls done <laughs> um most people get them done horizontally which is like straight across or up and down but I got mine going in at like a 45 degree angle I like it because it's different and it's really cool looking um with that I just used saline solution and they were easy healing they didn't hurt bad at all and <laughs> last but not least the hood okay I'm trying not I'm gonna try not to get too graphic but it's a female genital piercing um you open the lips and it's the little piece of skin at the top if you're a girl you easily know what I'm talking about um it's kinda awkward to get it done because you have to like pull your pants down and like put one leg on the table and one leg off the side of the table but luckily they don't clamp it they use what's called a receiving tube which is a tube that's hollow with one end so it just catches the, ne the needle and doesn't stab you anywhere else um, for that you can either get a hoop or a curved barbell I got the curved barbell because a hoop like I said in my belly button video I feel like a hoop would just be cause for more irritation and more time healing um, the nice thing about the hood is it doesn't hurt to get done like it's like literally a quick pinch and that's it like not even two seconds later it doesn't hurt anymore um I also use saline solution to clean it people say you, like people are like oh well can't you not have sex no you can have sex you just have to make sure you clean it very well after you do the deed <laughs> just make sure you clean it really well um other than that it's quickly it's quick healing like two to four weeks um yeah another thing is as us girls know it cleans itself so that's what also makes it heal so quickly um i hope this video helped you guys out if you have any questions feel free to ask see ya